Hello everyone, this is the video for the Celestial Challenge, uh, which you've seen my hunter do, or maybe you haven't, but I've recorded a video of my hunter doing it, and then that one takes place in the Temple of the Jade Serpent over here. Uh, except this time I'm on my Paladin for healing, and it's going to be at the Temple of the Red Crane, which is the healing challenge, so let's take a look at what it is, because I have no idea. Maybe I should buff myself, uh, give myself some King's buff. And uh, some other buffs. There we go. Ring the gong. Healing challenge. All right, let's take a look. Your champion will keep you alive. Begin. So now we have to heal Rathion. I think it's very interesting. Me? Where did Rathion go? Uh, what's this debuff here? Whoa, don't stand in the lava. It's falling. Maybe I should put Rathion on focus. Slash focus. Do not miss any opportunity to heal the Black no. Prince. Rathion's taking some damage. Uh, now we have some adds that spawned. I don't really know what these adds are for. I'm going to see if I can run away from them as much as possible. And uh, just to make sure we get away. Um, I guess we have to kill Wrath better. Just dodge all the meteors. I don't like these adds. I'm going to see. Okay, so they're stunnable. That's good. Rathion is taking damage. These guys are getting rather quick. Okay, yeah, they're increasing their movement speed. I remember these ads from the um, range DPS challenge. But I don't really know what they're there for. They're super fast. Do I have to kill them? Oh, okay, so we're dealing like a million damage. Use your body to shield Rathion's coming attacks. Okay. Here comes a. Uh, so I guess we have to take the damage. This is pretty interesting, actually. Uh, you never have to do this as a healer in raids. That's pretty cool, though. I like it. Very interesting. That's funny. The elements are undying. Make use of your time before they rise again. Okay, so these guys don't have that much health, so we can just DPS them down, which is also interesting. That's not something I tend to do as a, as a healer uh, in raids. That is, oh, Rathion is taking a lot of damage. I was not paying attention at all. The Holy Prism is actually quite good for this because I used it on on Rathion. Your healing is more powerful than his magic. Okay, so Rathion is standing in the void zone. <laughs> and you have to heal him while he does that. Pretty funny. <clears throat> and my Holy Prism is actually quite good, like I said, because if I put it on Rathion, it takes out the, uh, the little adds that spawn, because they don't really have that much health at all. So now it looks like he's gonna more damage. Oh, take. Run away from the cleave. Put it on Rathion. See, it kills all of them in one shot, which is rather nice. Uh, maybe I should heal myself a little bit. I'm not that low at all, though. Yay, we get to dodge more meteors. This part's fun. I like it. It's always kind of interesting to figure out how to heal while on the move. There's Rathion. But do not forget to keep and yourself alive. Where's the meteors? There they are. <clears throat> the little shards, actually, they're not meteors. Whoop! Okay, so they're coming more quickly now. So you can't uh, block all of them. I thought I thought I blocked that one. The elements are undying. Oh, and the, uh, the ads come back up. 
That's fine. Oh, hello there. He's at half health. Maybe I should help the DPS. I'll see what I can do. Oh, actually, I do a lot of damage to him, don't I? Yes, I do. That's really cool. Oh, yes, you have a buff that helps you DPS. But you have to balance yourself between DPSing and healing Rathion, because I wasn't paying attention to his health again, uh, which is rather important. Blood of the Deathborn, I believe that he is going to, yes, put the Void Zone. That's when I would probably use, like, Hand of Sacrifice, but I don't need to. I'm going to outrange his cleave. Excellent. Everything's going quite well. Now let's get close to Rathion so that we can use our Holy Prism and it will kill the adds. Like so. Ah, that's lovely. So I need to like, pay attention to his health and heal myself as well. Here comes more adds. Our Holy Prism is on cooldown, so I can't do anything about that just yet. That's fine. It looks like he's going to put another Void Zone. Double Void Zone. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, let's see if we can kill these adds. Like so. Excellent. We're taking quite a bit of damage ourselves. And let's see if we can't uh, help to kill. And we did. That was very cool. I really enjoyed that. We have the four blessings of the Celestials, and you have proven yourself by completing one of their challenges. I already read this before. Hey, we got our cape. Awesome. We yes, that was... Done it, hero. We have the blessings of the Celestials, and we have completed the challenge. Yes, we have. I know our next step. Meet me back atop Mason's Folly. You'll be pleasantly surprised. But yes, that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed that challenge. It's quite different than the ranged DPS one. It was a lot of fun discovering like all the little uh, mechanics you have to do. And you do a lot of them that are pretty different than what you would normally do as a healer, like body blocking and um, yeah, attacking the, the guy that pops up. That's actually really cool. I really, yeah, really enjoyed that. I suggest uh, doing that one if you're a healer and if you're interested in that. So that was a lot of fun. I hope to do more like that, that kind of stuff in the future. Well, apparently they're going to update the uh, Proven Grounds, so maybe maybe they'll do that. To add some interesting mechanics that you wouldn't otherwise see. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Until next time. Bye.